Welcome to my test of the different graphical settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 on the Steam Deck. First, I'll show you the various graphical presets, and then I'll share my recommended settings. Let's get started with the low-end graphics preset. We're starting with the low-end preset and no anti-aliasing, testing it out in the stunning environment of Bora Bora. Let's see how it performs. As you can see, the low-end preset delivers around 20 to 25 FPS, which is somewhat playable. Next, we move on to the medium preset. The FPS drops even further, and personally, I wouldn't find this playable. However, for some players, 20 FPS might still be acceptable for a game like this. Now we're testing the high preset. As expected, the FPS drops even further to around 15, making it unplayable in my opinion. You can't really appreciate the better graphics of the high preset when the frame rate is this low. For the sake of completeness, we're also testing the ultra preset. As expected, it's more of a slideshow with less than 10 FPS. What surprised me though is that the Steam Deck didn't crash immediately when I selected this setting. Now let's turn on anti-aliasing. From here on I'll only be testing with the low preset, as anything higher doesn't seem worthwhile, in my opinion. Here you can see gameplay with TAA enabled at 75%. As you can see, the image looks much smoother and the FPS are more stable compared to playing without anti-aliasing. However, I personally prefer using FSR2 in quality mode as the anti-aliasing solution. That's why I recommend the following settings. Low graphics preset with FSR2 in quality mode. This gives you playable 20 to 25 FPS. In my tests, I noticed that other FSR2 settings like balanced or performance didn't result in a significant FPS boost and actually looked worse than FSR2 in quality mode. Looking ahead, I'm hoping for an FSR3 implementation to improve performance even further. This is also urgently needed because as you can see when flying over larger cities, the frame rate drops even with these low settings, making it almost unplayable. A little tip from me. If you want to play the game on the Steam Deck with good graphics and you have a powerful gaming PC, try streaming the game to your Steam Deck. I have a laptop with an RTX 4070 and I can stream the game flawlessly to the Steam Deck. If your network is strong enough, the difference to native gameplay is almost unnoticeable and it looks absolutely fantastic. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments if you plan on playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 on the Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and goodbye.